All right, let's check in with meteorologist Hannah Gard for the forecast. Hannah, it looks like the guys in California are dealing with a little bit of a breeze. No breeze here. <laughs> yeah, it probably feels nice off of those ocean cliffs. We definitely could use some of that cooler wind to help make things feel a little bit better today, but we're not going to get much of that. Temperature is 96 degrees we're forecasting for the high. We did want to put it in perspective though. 101 is where we were for the record last year. So we were entering that really hot period into August. So it's not quite that hot, but definitely above normal. So we're giving you the first alert, especially for the feels like temperatures. It's going to feel like up to 113 and over 108 throughout most of today. So we do have those heat advisories in effect across our entire area. You can see those excessive heat warnings to the north, so we're not the only ones dealing with it. It's across most of the central plains. We're going to continue to see those high temperatures be in the mid to upper 90s throughout this week and that dangerous heat index sticking around along with low rain chances. The rain is really the only thing that can cool us off this time of year, especially with those heat domes over us, and we're just not going to get much of it this week. Right now, it feels like temperatures 106, so we're almost to that heat advisory criteria. We will get there through the afternoon. The only time periods that actually feel a little bit better are when the sun goes down. So make sure you're planning those outdoor activities for the early evening as the sun sets or in the morning hours. That would be better because the temperatures will feel a little bit better. As we have these heat index values over 112, that's going to be a risk for everybody. So make sure you're taking extra heat precautions even in the evening hours because those temperatures are just not falling too much overnight. So we're not getting relief. That's why we're giving you the first alert all week long. You can see those feels like temperatures staying around 112, which is just shy of that excessive heat warning criteria all the way through the weekend. So a prolonged period of heat and heat is cumulative in its impacts on the body. So the cause of this on water vapor, you can see this clockwise spin. This is high pressure that's over most of the central parts of the country. We are seeing that expand this week, but then notice it pushes over to the west and we do have some low pressure coming down that's going to increase our rain chances and also impact the steering of something that we're watching in the tropics. This is going to be a wave and you can see high pressure over here on the eastern side over the Atlantic. This is going to be one of the steering factors in the long term. The timing of this low pressure in the upper levels and ultimately where the center of this system forms. Right now, we don't have a center. So if you've been on Facebook seeing people saying where this is going to go, there is a lot of model uncertainty. If we don't have a center to look at, the models don't do a good job with the ultimate outcome of this. So right now, the National Hurricane Center has this area in orange outlined for a medium chance of development over the next seven days. Notice it still includes parts of the eastern Gulf all the way up the East Coast because those models are in disagreement of the strength of this, the land interaction here over the Bahamas, parts of the Greater Antilles. There are a lot of factors that are going to come into play. Right now, it's just thunderstorm activity. You can see it's starting to fire up a little bit better as it's moving toward parts of the Lesser Antilles and into the Greater Antilles. But look at this Saharan dust that it's been battling. It's sucking it into this broad wave, so that's making that environment not too great for it. But that moisture plume moves into a slightly better environment over warmer ocean waters. Look at all this land interaction. There are just so many what ifs over the next couple of days. But along that wave axis, eventually we could see something form. So that's when we'll have to keep a close eye on this. So by the end of this week, we'll have a much better idea of where the system could potentially go. The next name would be Debbie if we do see a tropical storm form. So we are seeing a lot of sunshine cloud cover out there. It's a little hazy. That's actually Saharan dust that's in the atmosphere. We'll keep that for a couple of days. Temperatures already in the upper 80s. We're seeing some of those coastal showers and we could see a couple of those storms pop up inland. So we do have 20% through Friday. We'll start to see 30. That coverage in the afternoon will be a little bit higher, but look at those temperatures in the mid to upper 90s until the end of the weekend. Then we see those rain chances go up a little bit. That'll help slightly with the temperatures. Back to you.